After I realized that my previous idea wasn't the best way to keep your PlayStation cool and adding more fans to it makes it sound like an F-16 jet, I thought about some new ideas that could really work, so here we are. 4 tips to keep your PlayStation 4 cool that really work. First, position. Place your PlayStation in a cold area so the cool air can be sucked in by the PlayStation. The cooling power is increased when the air is colder. That means you have to watch your room temperature or put your PlayStation into a refrigerator. No, don't do that. That isn't effective and can cause serious damage to your PS4. Second, give it a good clean. Like a normal person showers and get rid of dirt and something like that, your PlayStation needs to be cleaned too. The easiest way is to blow the dust out of it with the help of a compressor or compressed air. But you need to be careful because of the fan in the inside when it's spinning by the incoming air, it can produce energy, which can cause a short circuit on your motherboard. The other and harder way to clean your PlayStation is to open it up and clean it with your vacuum cleaner and a brush. But this method helps to turn off your warranty, but you have to decide which way is the best for you. In the video description, you can find a complete guide on how you disassemble the console. Third, give your PlayStation room to breathe. Watch out that the sides and the back of your console are clear. Place it onto something that has enough room around about it for fresh air. Place it on top of a shelf, not into it. In a shelf, the warm air from the back is pushed past the sides of the PlayStation where the intake is located. If enough room is available in the back, the warm air can be blown away from the console and not into it. Place your PlayStation on some stands, so the air has the opportunity to reach the underside of the console. This little space between the console and the ground causes a passive cooling solution. The cool air reaches the console and transfers the heat to the air in the room and not to the ground or the shelf. Fourth, cable management. I saw the comment on my previous video and it's a really good idea. Like on a computer, you need to watch out that the cables are far away from your in and output. So route the cables behind the console and hide them so the warm air can flow around it. Thanks for watching, I hope I could help you to cool down your PlayStation or any other console you have. See you next time!